Hi guys, this is Sumaya. Today, I am going to show you how you can make your WordPress website and your WordPress app into multilingual using Polylang. Polylang plugin is the most downloaded WordPress multilingual plugin. As you can see here, there are 5 lakh plus active installation and is one among the top rated multilingual plugin. This plugin lets you add as many as languages you want in your website and also support RTL language scripts. In case, if you are currently using WPML, you can use WPML to Polylang plugin. Using Polylang plugin, you can translate posts, pages, media, menus and widgets in your website. Let's see how to install the Polylang plugin. As you can see, go to your WordPress dashboard and click on the plugins and then click this add new button and it's here that you search for plugins so let's type in polylang this is the official plugin of polylang click on the install button and then click the activate button now the plugin is added to your WordPress website. The next step is to configure the settings of the Polylang plugin. Let's see how it's done. Initially, you need to set up the languages that you want in your site and app. For this, click on this language button on the sidebar. In this section, you can see the languages that you are currently using in your website. In my case, it's just English. And it's here that you can add a new language. Let's try adding a new language. Mm, let me add Portuguese. And when you click on this add new button, add, add new language button, Portuguese will be added to your website. The order option here will let you enter an order for the language Portuguese uh, and in the website's language switcher, the language will be displayed in that order. Mm, let's just proceed as it is by clicking the add new language button. Now you can see Portuguese is added to the list. This star corresponding to English says that English is the default language in your site and yes you can change it. Now uh, let's see how these changes are reflected in the pages of my website. Let's click on the page option in the sidebar. Now here you can see there, are, uh, there is a new option for all the pages on your website. Uh, before it was just English but now Portuguese is also visible. The tick option here says that this card page is created in English whereas the plus button says that these pages are not yet set up in Portuguese. When you click on the tick option that comes under English, you can start editing the page in English. This is where you can edit the page. And when clicked on the plus icon, a new page is created for this page where you can enter the contents in Portuguese. Just click it and then a new page is created for the page blog. Let me close this option. Okay, this is where you can add the translated contents. Yes, uh, here you will need to manually translate all the contents. Let me show an example page um, that has contents. Let's choose welcome page. You can see the language, uh, the page is already set up in English. And now let's create a welcome page in Portuguese by clicking the plus option. Now you need to translate all the contents in the welcome page to Portuguese. Uh, here it's just a few sentences. Let's begin with the heading. You can use Google Translate to get your content translated. Now let's translate the body contents. Adding the translated contents and then click the publish button. 
let's see how that went click all the pages option in the sidebar there you go you can see the translated page of the welcome page and it is also updated like this page is created in Portuguese and the default page still exists in English since we have added all the languages what we need to do next is give an option to the cust uh, customers to choose their language for this you need to display a language switcher with all the languages available in your website let me show you how to add the language switcher click the appearance option and then select menu you can see the language switcher is here and what we need to do is just tick the box and then click add to menu option now the switcher is added to your website's menu and there is an option to customize it let's choose the drop down option and instead of the language name let's just display the flag now it's all set next you need to check in the option secondary menu right here and then save the menu let's see how the language which is uh, now visible in your website reloading my website here you go the language which is now available on the website let's click portuguese to see the translated page of the welcome page here it is just as i said before polylang plugin does not translate the content what it actually does is it only manages the translated pages uh, well translating manually is not always feasible so this is why you need lingotech this tool is an add-on to polylang plugin let me show you how to activate lingotech click on the language option in the sidebar and then click lingotech okay this is the free version of lingotech but it will only translate a hundred thousand characters in your website and you can activate it here if you want to auto translate more contents i suggest you buy the paid version of lingotech and that's it that's how you translate your woocommerce site using polylang plugin and in case if you are extending or taking your business to the next level by creating a multilingual app for your store i recommend you to choose app maker as it is the only woocommerce app builder that comes with full plugin support including polylang thanks for watching